much clear. 59% of the base is gone. Tesla bar showing up around that multi inferno. That's gonna be very nice value of the free spell. Catching not just at multi inferno, but also Tesla. Boom, boom, boom. With the show. <laughs> Welcome, welcome everyone. We are live with the tournament DPB and we have two amazing teams. We have found this base going against SG Tristilla. We are kicking off with the first attack from find this base. Frosty is in and he will be using Queen Charge Dragon Rider. So as you can see, he's using that baby dragon to set up the nice pathing for the queen, but especially get her inside that compartment where we open the wall. We also the open the wall on the side where is the thumb hole there is plenty of traps as you can see all these skellies went back to the queen we will be using the sneaky goblins to take down the thumb hole but before we do we have to take care of this storage so we have still eight more sneaky goblins don't forget we have to use the one minimum one sneaky goblin for testing the traps looks like we already test few of them we need to keep walking, we were able to pull some of the CC, but not all of them. We are just killing some of the archers and soon we can reach also the enemy royal champion. So there we go, there is that one test sneaky goblin and looks like it is safe. So the rest of the sneakies will go in pretty soon. We are using another super wall breaker, sadly the super wall breaker opening this wall which we are actually inside in the compartment. We are now deploying the king. Royal Champion, Warden, and the Log Launcher. From the right side, I love the Log Launcher. The value of the Log Launcher can be very nice because we are not just opening the wall, but also hitting already the first Inferno, going for that second Inferno, and soon we'll be hitting the Eagle. As we weren't able to open the wall for the Queen, she's right now stuck behind the wall, but she's dealing with the Lava. Sneaky over the Town Hall, Invisibility spell on them. Nicely done. Town Hall going down. I see with the Shield. Boom. Boom, boom boom clearing some buildings on the top side now we have dragon riders coming in we have only few of them so they need to do some work we, you can see we were able to take down the eagle yet it's kind of swag now they're just clearing some trash buildings around using the freeze over that air defense not just protecting the uh, rocket balloon but also this dragon riders royal champion trying the best now the yeti stuck on the wall same story for the uh, queen here we are using the invisibility spell on the dragon riders we are triggering the tornado drop the scatter shot is still uh, dangerous for us yeti mice we have some of them they're hitting that scatter now the dragon rider with the wood and help finishing the scatter shot we have only few seconds left but you can see we have still queen with the ability and this one will be beautiful three star from frosty so nicely done first triple for find this base is in very nice job i have to say that queen didn't do that much i like the royal champion sneaky but i love the local launcher in this attack we have Troya in the action. So this one is first attack for SG Tristella. We will go with the ground strategy. We are bringing hybrid here. So again, using the Yeti just for the funnel. Yeti mines are already hitting the Archer Tower. We need one more hit, boom, Archer Tower gone. Now we are just waiting for the air defense going down before we deploy the healers. Checking with the Cocoloon to see if we can find any seeking air mine. Looks like, uh, right now looks like pretty safe. Using the Hawk, and the Hawk actually pull the CC. No, right now that hog is on the uh, x ball, so not possible to pull the CC. Queen is keep walking on the left side. It's making me think that we want to take down the town hall with the queen, especially when we are now deploying the loons and the sneaky goblins for the funnel. So queen going in, we are sending another coco loon. It's very important that uh, we're not gonna lose any healers. Very nice coco loon, finding the two seeking ear mines, but we are in the trouble because the queen going wrong where we are using the invisibility spell. I told that she will go back but she's still okay here but we have to invest some of the spells as you can see has to freeze where is the enemy queen but also that warden doing way too much damage we are kicking off here with the hybrid queen is on the town hall freezing the town hall to protect the healers but single infant on the queen that's gonna force the queen use the ability there is the giant bomb tornado trap poison as well so a lot of going on using the heal over the scatter shot protecting this hybrid 
and the wooden ability as we are pushing towards that multi inferno. Right now, Queen will be log on the lava. Sadly, was unable to grab that X bow before she is on the lava. You can see that X bow has almost no HP. We got the king on the uh, eagle. That's awesome. Now the hybrid is in the core of the base. We still have royal champion with them, but we already use all our spells so that a uh, group of the hybrid on the left side, where is the multi inferno, is taking uh, too much damage. Royal champion going here with the shield. Boom, boom, boom. Scatter shot going down. Now we need help from hybrid. We need something to target and multi inferno. Right now, hoggies and miners going a lot around, so that's mean the multi inferno staying up a little bit longer. We are hitting spring trap, so we are losing three hogs. I think we will be finishing here on the multi inferno. Let's see. We still have a few seconds left. But we have plenty of troops. It's not even close. Troya nicely done and that's mean hg3 stella as well hitting the first three star find this base coming in here we've done another hit we have dragons but look at this we've done three clone spell okay i think so we will be cloning uh loose in the core of the base that's what made me think here because we are using the king and the queen for the funnel, all right? We have one uh, dragon to just trying to set up very easy pathing for this uh, dragon using that blim and here we go three clone spell let's see how big value can we totally destroy the core of the base loons on the left side we didn't have the clone much so uh, they went down pretty quickly suddenly we didn't get a, a scatter and we also didn't get a multi inferno that multi inferno very low health but it's still there it was i think still a little bit expensive with the three clone spell but what is important we got the town hall down grab few defenses around and this dragon still uh, I have a lot of power as you can see most of them are still full health now we are even deploying the royal champion as the clan castle is still up here we are even pulling the cc so that's a chance the royal champion also will be targeting uh the lava but with the help of the dragons we should be able to deal with the lava pups pretty quickly here i see already with the shield boom 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 getting hit as you can see hitting the uh eagle taking care of the boulder hat now we have the dragons on the clan castle sadly queen lock on the wall here oh dragons going for the multi inferno all of them are so so low health i think we need it we needed better value of the three clone spell because we invest three clone spells we got the town hall i think so inferno scatter shot sadly not that value it was way too much so very nice try from uh find this base we are hitting 80 percent to start which is still very decent percent we have heroya in action we will be using looks like we are uh, using 15 sneaky goblins so we know the plan for the town hall but also we have one skeleton one bats but only two invisibility spells so i don't think so that's gonna be skeleton but donut let's see what we are planning so first of all simple uh way how to take down the town hall there wasn't all uh, storages around so only few uh sneakies were needed invisibility spell on them town hall went down and of course we pulled the cc so we have headhunters and lava coming out we will be using the ice golem tanking for the queen because when you look at the base we have the single inferno are very close so queen will be now a look on the lava using just our uh, minions you know just clearing some buildings around making sure the queen will not go around all right looks like the lava is chasing uh, ice golem we are still outside of the range of the single inferno so the queen is fine and now the ice golem freezing everything around we are deploying the wooden with the king so again because we use the sneaky goblins for the town hall we don't really need the tomb for the town hall you know so we are still fine and we can use the wooden uh with the hero skeleton spell to distract in that single inferno that didn't work we needed to reset the uh single inferno now we are hitting the tornado trap there is even the giant bomb while that queen died too quickly here we are even starting with the level let's see our uh, king going inside the compartment where is the multi inferno he's deploying the royal champion trying to save it trying to kind of clear uh, this building so we can have nice patting for the lalo all right king of the multi inferno enemy queen is down as well royal champion 
took care of that single inferno. Now she's pushing for the scatter shot. Lalo already clearing the top side. We were freezing, but didn't catch uh, that uh, scatter. Now with the freeze spell, that second freeze, covering the scatter shot. But the eagle, wow, eagle savage, hitting all these loons, and they are dying so so quickly. He's using some spells to protect the royal champion, and I think so. That was worth it. Definitely taking care of the. A multi inferno definitely worth it here and also you have to uh, see that we didn't have the warden with the lalo so they were a little bit struggling but the cc from slava just finishing this base and we have enough to clear this i have to say it was a very nice save there especially like immediately deploying the royal champion finishing what the queen uh, couldn't do it i was a little bit worried about the top side as we lost the loons pretty quickly but nice use of the spells the royal champion clearing even this a multi inferno definitely worth it and sg3 still are hitting the second three star and taking the lead against the find this, find this base coming in here with the third attack we have fatal in the action and we are back with the queen charge level but we are bringing one dragon rider we'll see where we're gonna be using that uh, dragon rider so a uh, very simple uh, pulling the cc so we already got a super minions out poison on them queen charging from that nine o'clock corner we're opening the wall on that side as well so we know that queen we want her to go or start moving for that air defense using just wizard making sure she will not go around now we have some super wall breaker action you can see that wall breaker got hit and opening the wall on the right side uh that was our actually the last super wall breaker so we have no more wall breakers about uh, with the minion clearing the top side queen is quite low health she was forced to use the ability ouchie there was some seeking air mines our healers we are losing a bunch of them now we are starting with the heroes on the bottom side and also with the wall wrecker here healers in the big trouble in the range of the multi inferno he's raging trying to protect but that queen has no health and the scatter just finishing her that means the healers are trying to switch but they're not gonna make it wooden ability already used this will be very tough I don't know if the Fatal can uh, recover here. Wolf Wrecker should made it for the Town Hall. So we should be hitting the save 2 star. Now we are freezing the right side, especially the x -Ball, because the Royal Champion needs to do some work. Garcia with the shield. Boom, boom, boom. Going for the x -Ball. And now, let's see. Lalo, without Warden, we have Scatter, Sweeper, Multi Inferno, Eagle. I think so we will be trying to hit something like you know very high pets and two star here he is freezing that a multi inferno raging these moves but you can see we are getting hit by the eagle as well we have the haze action with the bunch of the loons on the top side they're sniping the archer tower and also the air defense minions are trying to clear some few buildings actually that was smart to use uh the loons on this side because we don't have any other uh, defenses which can uh kill the minions if we are not counting the eagle so this is gonna allow him uh, to grab few more buildings right now we are on 79 percent we still have few minions alive all right that is 80 is it gonna be 81 no this minion sadly didn't finish the cannon 24 seconds left this storage maybe will go down and also that cannon is almost like one hit so 81 no it is 81 82 i just saw that minion should be good 82 percent so yeah very nice try i think so we have some issue with the uh queen uh she lost the healer she was forced to use the ability so it was very tough to uh, recover here but very nice try 82 percent decent person that is in so sg tristola right now has the lead against find this base but coming here with the lalo first coming here with the hero dive so going here with the king queen on the bottom side the goal is that queen will take care of the town hall royal champion from that uh three o'clock corner we were using the giant to tank for her because we don't want her to use that ability that early skeleton spell trying to distract uh, some defenses headhunter helping the king against the enemy queen 
Queen took the uh, took down the town hall, no issue there. RC pushing for the air defense, and of course we're pulling the CC. Also the tornado trap being triggered, which is very nice. So the headhunter is dying in the poison. Now the lava loser will be stuck or chasing the king. We are using the invisibility spell for him, so we are even grabbing the X bow. Let's see how the Lalo will go. Right now, SG3 still have, I say, in the lead against the find this base. Starting with the Lalo from top, Slummer. I like the Slummer putting here because he will go for the bomb tower and after for the uh, multi inferno and also the eagle. You can see we trigger a bunch of traps. There were so many red bombs as well. Wow, there's many red bombs around that multi inferno and eagle. We're losing many loons here. So he's freezing again and Dragon Rider finishing these buildings. Now we are raging. Front of the Scottish show, there is Tesla Fan which show up using the wooden ability here. Scatter should go down any second. Clean up looking okay. We have still plenty of minions. We have uh, lava pups actually chasing the enemy king. Plenty of loons. I just kind of don't like that uh, lava in the middle compartment because it looks like we will pop the lava here. But uh, time is uh, not the issue, and that's mean SG Tristella will be hitting the three star. Nice job. Very nice attack from Pet. So we are seeing another OP 3 star. We will see how the find this base will answer here. Nicely done. Willis is in. Right now find this base with the 1 triple and 2 2 star. High pets and 2 star. Actually very decent pets and I think so was 80 pets and 82. SG3 still up with the three triples in so find this base is right now under pressure they knew they have to hit the triple and also hoping for the some defenses will is going against the ring base and he's coming here uh, with the super bowler strategy ring base very important to set up the funnel because we will be using the kill squad in the middle so we have that flame finger trying to clear the top side as you can see already the super bowl breakers are in wooden clearing that all the corner and uh, we will be bringing the jump spell so we will be just jumping to push the kill squad inside in the core of the base so using the raid spell on the warden you can see that the ground expo is on the warden so we need him to keep uh, him alive so we don't want to use the warden ability that early flame flinker doing decent job of clearing all these defenses in the corner losing the one healer okay we are short of one healer so how soon are we gonna pull the warden right now clearing nicely okay now queen is in king on the other side we will want that Xbo switch to Ice Golem because the healer is gonna stay on the warden all time until that Xbo is done, you know? Alright, Lusavi switch finally as we froze that Xbo, so that means the healer is switching and healing all the troops which are taking the damage. We're popping the lava, so Queen will be distracted by the lava pups. We are using the warden ability. Super Bowler is trying to clear all the defenses around. Actually, the king and the Super Bowler is now finishing the town hall. There is the tornado trap. I think so. We have also the uh, troops from the flame flinger. Yes, we have hoggies. Hoggies came out, but they are hitting that giant bomb next to the scatter shot. So they are dying pretty quickly. Royal champion trying to clear the defenses on this bottom side. Let's allow him to use some of the cleanup here. We still have a bunch of Super Bowlers. We actually Actually have still queen and the warden alive and what is important we have healers up as well so really smash this base you can see he still have queen a royal champion with the ability also one freeze uh, spell left so very nice job from village and this is exactly what find this base needed so they need to hit one more triple and hoping for the defenses is it gonna happen we will find out in a few minutes but definitely very nice attack so sg tristella is live with the fourth hit so far three triples in let's see coming in here with the dragons i looks like it's gonna be hydra all right bringing two clone spells as well so he's using the raid spell on that e-dragon trying to funnel the bottom side but looks like that e-dragon going to the left side and not really pushing for that multi inferno and now that e-dragon is outside of the raid spell all right i don't think so we funnel oh let's see 
Can we get another chain? No. The dragon going down. He got a storage, but there is still chance some of the dragons will go to the right side. Looks like one dragon right, another Tesla showing up. Looks like that will be all Tesla part. We are using the wooden ability, also protecting that brim. Now we are trying to clone the loons. Alright, they are clearing the wooden statue. I actually went to the left side, so they are now front of the dragons. The right side is still there. Dragon Rider is still trying to clear a little bit more. We are freezing that single inferno, letting the dragon rider to take down that single inferno. Now, still big group of the dragons on the top side. Now they are all taking the damage from the multi. They are even in the tornado trap. Royal champion stepping in. We are seeing one seeking air mine, so one dragon down. We have no dragons left at the six o'clock. Not a seeking air mine. We will be losing the dragon right there. Dragons are disappearing. We still have to fight the enemy royal champion scattershot. I see also the ground expo. That's gonna be a huge issue for the heroes. And we have only poison left. King ability being used right now. Royal champion. Oh no, we even pulling the CC. We have three ice golem coming out, so we are using the poison on them. Air defense still up. Dragon's getting hit. Come on, King, help us. Getting some hit on the air defense. Taking down. Okay, so now we have two dragons. Queen with the ability. Royal champion all already gone. This is very, very close, guys. Queen is now uh, stuck on the wall. So these dragons will be clearing a little bit more. Oh, the ground expo on the King. Okay. Dragon going for the expo. I like the archer. The wish that was wizard will be much faster with the cleanup. All right, now the queen can reach the expo. Good thing is that she doesn't have to break the wall for the other buildings. Like she can uh, go for the uh, sorry Tesla farm and also the multi inferno. There were some ground scales, so queen is forced to use the ability here. We have only few seconds left. Oh, there was a uh, seeking air mine. Rip the electro out. Another set of the skellies. Unicorn really trying the best. Wow, that queen has almost no HP. We are losing the queen. And we will be... Oh, this is so, so close. What then? Can you do it? We have the arch on the... Uh, gold my wooden solo health. I hope so there is not air trap. We have three buildings left, only two seconds. It will be town file. So, so close. But first defense for find this base. I have to say it was higher person that the fails from a find this base. So the find this base still will be behind on the person. But let's look at their hit. Final attack from find this base. They have no other choice. They have to hit a three star and hoping for the defense. Can we see the third triple? from them we are coming in here with the queen charge lalo so using few loons to snipe the arch tower all right all right queen is fine she's not really taking uh much damage now the expo on her all right here you go healers we pull some of the cc but only few that's make me think because we use the loons and make me think that we have still a lava inside in the clan castle all right now all healers on the queen all right, let's see where she will going. All right, she's going for the air defense, moving for the visit tower. Baby dragon trying to funnel, another rage. Pin on the ground, expo, pulling the CC. All right, there we go. There is another headhunter and we have lava. Actually, the baby dragon OP can help the queen so we can uh, deal with the lava pups even faster plus we have the poison for them as well i like this queen charge like so far she can get very nice value because she's going for the scatter shot okay she also can uh reach uh, the eagle here and what is interesting we are using the wall wrecker okay all right so queen on the eagle now we have king action we are using the warden Dale as well Ice Golem tanking, so I guess we will be using also the Royal Champion. That Woolworker is not taking any damage. That Woolworker is pretty safe. Queen is still nicely clearing the uh, defenses around and especially tanking that Expo. That Woolworker will be almost on the town hall. We are using the Skeleton spell. Not just distracting the single Inferno, but the Wooden and also we have the enemy heroes. Looks like we are using the Raid spell on the Yetis. Town hall should go down. Queen taking down the second Scout shot very strong start here all right let's see 
king, royal champion on the single inferno. Right now we are just using the heroes. Look at how much he clear. 59% of the base is gone. Tesla Park showing up around that multi inferno. That can be very nice value of the free spell. Catching not just that multi inferno, but also Tesla boom 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 with the shield multi inferno. Two Teslas freezing again. I cannot believe that he's holding. Like he's still keeping the royal champion alive. Little bit lucky because Ars is now chasing the skelly, so she got kind of distracted. Queen still with the ability, and this is kind of swag lalo, guys. Because the queen could finish it, but we are just don't have that much time here. So that's why we are deploying these loons and the lava. What a value from find this base. It was so confident attack from them. That's mean they are finishing with the 13 stars. And the final hit from SG Tristilla will be deciding the result of this war. Here we go. SG Tristilla live with the final attack. This hit will be deciding who will get the win. So we are coming in here. Uh, looks like it will be Lalo again bringing Bat spell and the Skeleton spell, but only one invisibility spell here. So we are starting here with the heroes using the Super Wolverker, opening that compartment where we have the Multi Inferno Ice Golem right now, tanking that Ground Expo, but also some of the defenses on this right side. Queen is going correct way. We would like to see her that she is moving uh, nicely towards the town hall. Actually, King joining her and King has still ability that's nice so king ability being pop we are uh, taking care of the storages using the invisibility spell that's mean both heroes were inside in the invisibility spell town hall went down we are clearing a little bit more and now king pulling the cc very interesting choice here we have ice lava in the clan castle you don't see this uh, very often all right ice lava pop Queen is still trying to survive. A uh, poison should be dealing. Uh, yeah, I think so. The poison almost got all the lava pups. Anyway, he's uh, using the BB dragon here to help with the rest of the lava pups. Now, Royal Champion and the Slammer. We have single Inferno and two heroes. Kind of worried that Royal Champion going against two heroes. Skeleton spell using the bunch of loons and the haze. Take care of the multi inferno. Dragon Rider and Luz came up of Slammer. You can see the Dragon Rider die very quickly because there is enemy royal champion. We took care of the enemy queen. I see with the shield there. Boom, boom, boom. Sniping that inferno. Tornado trap being triggered next to the eagle and also some of the red bombs. So that's mean we lost some of the runes here. Another group of the loons coming in from the top side. Again, we are using the ice lava, but the loons are disappearing, guys, very quickly here. Using a freeze over the multi inferno, but we still have scatter shot up. Now we have bat spell. I really am a big fan of the bat spells on that air defense. Oh, I see. I thought that we are swagging the freeze spell, but he was freezing the enemy royal champion because we have nothing. Oh, we don't have headhunters to take care of her, and that's mean angry enemy RC is now killing his troops. The warden is already gone, while the minions are clearing some of the buildings. We are on 81% now, the lava actually freezing everything around. What will be the final score for SG Tristola? Every building, everything, guys, matter here because if you're gonna hit enough percent. SG Tristella will get the win and we are SG Tristella hitting enough percent that's mean it is win for them actually i'm just curious if this one is townfell because we have only one tesla but probably minions wouldn't be able to overpower it it is 93 percent wow what a close war this war was decided by the person as you can see 90 point or 92.40 for find this base 98.20 for sg tristella congratulations sg tristella and gg to find this base we saw some amazing attacks and still i'm in the shock with that heat from find this base when we were swagging the lalo so again thank you very much guys for watching Eyes in the sky,